Hey guys, this is Playbox by Native Instruments, a new type of instrument all about chords and sample layering, so let's get started. Right, so the idea is that we have a set of chords, eight chords, and they are all made from samples that are layered one on top of the other. And we have different types of samples, so you can see the representation of one of the chords in the set right here. So when I play different chords, you'll see different boxes. Right, and this inflated one, these are instruments, the bubbles, are voices, vocals, we have the fairy one, that, that's noises, we have the pointy one which are synths, and the purple one is basses. And we also have in this main page the XY pad, we have some macros, and we have the mod wheel assignment. And we'll see that in a moment. But before that, let's jump over to chords and in this page you can see the different chords that belongs to that particular scale. So we are on C minor, but I can change that to F minor, for example, and all the notes will change, all the chords will change to match that scale. And what we can also do is we can shuffle the order, we can audition the notes, And we can drag and drop this uh, code progression or this code set into our project. And so that's very cool. In addition to that, we can actually record our own chords into uh, Playbox. So let me show you. I'm going to just click this record and. And here I just recorded my own chord and you can go and save that, you can record more chords for each of the uh, slots here, each of the columns. And now let's see what we have on samples. So in samples we can see the samples that make those chords. And again the different types. So you can see that the basses are the purple ones, the synths are the pointy one. We have instruments, we have uh, again basses, we have voices and noises. But one of the most, uh, let's say, uh, interesting features of Playbox is the randomizations. And you can see that dice all over the place. So if I'll click that one, everything changes. All the samples across all the chords will change. Right, and we can also randomize by uh, column, which means that we are randomizing one particular chord. And we can randomize by row, by a specific instrument. And we'll get different results every time. And we can go back to the main page and see the well main dice here. The big dice here will change pretty much everything and it will get us different sounds. So let's just play with that. So in the effect tab we have the first one, this is strumming or arpeggio or grain, very cool. Then we have lo-fi and then we have different options for different 
effect. So we can click this drop down here and just uh, do something completely different. We can select phases for this one and we get the controls for phases. We can change that one to uh, charge. This one can be uh, flare and so on. And in the middle here we have the modulation and if we would like to modulate anything it's really really simple. So we have those pluses here. I'm going to click one of them and decide that that one will be uh, modified by the LFO A. And I'm going to click and drag up and now you can see this little dot going left and right with uh, this LFO. So right now the LFO is uh, set to Hertz but I can lock this to our BPM and change the speed and you'll see that it moves much faster. Now let's see how we can load our own samples into Playbox. So I'm going back into samples and here you can see the different samples loaded and I can find some. Let's find something interesting. So I'm going to take a guitar and just drag and drop it anywhere. And now let's have a listen. And let's take another one and put it here. And Playbox will analyze the samples and adjust them to match the chord. Right, and we can go on and find something else and just drop it here. So I think what we'll do now is check some of the presets and have a listen to the included sounds. Thank you. 